Hello friends, this is Manak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you to the part 4 of the video on collar positioning. So friends, we had shown in the previous video that we had placed our columns in this plan. So in this video, we had told you that we will consider some practical aspects and change the position we had assigned to our columns. So friends, first of all, we need to know that after the positioning of the columns we go for the center line diagram and after that we go for the structural design so while assigning our columns we need to make sure whether it affects our aesthetic appearance of the building or whether there is any better option structurally considering that there will be connection of beams between all columns so let's get started so first of all, to begin with, let us observe these three columns. As you can see, all these three columns will not be visible after the construction of the house as it is inside the 10 inch wall and the column is also 10 inch. So these three columns will not be visible. So that's not a problem here. Now we have these three columns. So this column is perfectly placed and this one it will be visible from the dining area so it will extrude out from the dining area so we can change its position so let us change its position rather we'll change the position of all the columns along it as we had discussed in part 2 that it is better if all the columns are along the same alignment so I'll just use this command of move use this as my reference and then just move it here so as you can see all these columns have been moved and now this column is not also not a problem because it is not visible after the house will be constructed now let us move on to this line as you can see we have a column here and here and here now this column is visible in the dining area so now we have two options so if we move this column from here to here some portion of it will be visible in the bedroom so let us look how this option will look like we'll just select these three columns and use move we'll move it from here to here so as you can see that it will no longer be visible in the drawing room and also the dining area but some portion of it will be visible and it will reduce the space of the bedroom by a small amount. So moving on, we have the next three set of columns. Now as you can see here, these columns will be visible from the bedroom. These columns or rather these two columns are not a problem here. So we can do one thing that is we can measure the distance using the dimensions you can measure this distance suppose it is 5 inch so we have just selected this we can just stretch it ortho is on so it's not stretching it we have not selected it properly actually just select it properly and then stretch it we will just stretch it by 5 inches so that there is enough space for the door now let's check out the space left for the door it is 3 feet 3 inch so 3 feet 3 inch passage was earlier now after the placing the column also the passage will remain the same so it is not an issue here the passage is ensured and this column is also not a problem here and all the remaining column that is 1 2 3 4, 5, 6, all these 6 columns will not be visible from anywhere. So as we have seen, we have placed our columns and while placing the columns also, we have to keep in mind the positioning of our beams. So friends, in this video, we have learned how to give the positioning of columns in our building plan. Hope that you like this series and if you want to see more such videos, stay tuned to our channel. And also, if you want to join us offline, that is, if you want to take training from us, you can join our Civil Center Student Club, where we provide training 
to civil engineering students as well as professionals and make them ready for our industry. Bye-bye.